So where are we at with passports and is it going to be a mandatory thing? And how do you even fucking do that? I don't know yet. So I, I would say this is not a well-developed conversation, at least from what I've seen at the federal level. So, and it increasingly will need to be because as I say, we're going to get to a place by the summer where we're in much better shape than we are today. Where it's going to be industry driven. I, I, I already have, I already have heard businesses, uh, folks in, in business start talking about this more than most, right? Because yeah, a lot this of is restaurants are doing that normal. safe seal thing, right? They're doing the, right. you know, I, there's a ton of restaurant chains that have done it, but anyway, sorry. Continue. There, well, there's any number of travel we take already where you go get your shots before you travel to particular countries. Right. I, I, I do think, and as it relates to, um, we went through this conversation in a different context as it related to privacy and the digital uh, exposure notification app. And my view was, I don't know, maybe everyone should have it given we're locking people in their homes right now. So I don't know, forcing me to have something on my phone is kind of a small inconvenience in comparison to civil liberties concerns around <laughs> about all the restrictions yeah. on our travel. So if we think of it from a harm reduction lens, well, if we look at the the really serious closures at the border that we have and the quarantine rules and everything else, well, maybe we look instead to have a vaccine passport that can actually open things up. Now, obviously what you need to bring to bear in these conversations are equity considerations of, are there people coming to visit their family members or loved ones coming from countries that don't have access to vaccines? I spoke to uh, Paul Farmer about vaccine equity and he's talking about countries in Africa including Rwanda that have great public health systems, all things considered, that don't have access to vaccines. So we're all here worried about it in Canada. They don't, they don't have, they really don't have access to vaccines. You know what I mean? So are, are we going to start putting rules in place that really prejudice countries that through no fault of their own haven't had access? So I, I think we have to work through some of those fairness considerations, but as a general, well, I'm talking about the domestic, the domestic approach, right? Like domestically um, the, you know, all of us here have different opinions. We all agree though. We yeah. don't want to sit next to someone who refuses to get vaccinated right, while we're having yeah, fucking dinner, yeah, right? Of course. of course. So is is where's that conversation at? Because y the way I look at it is this is going to be heavy lifting for you with the extremist communities, right? You're going to have a lot of people that aren't going to want to get vaccinated and for sh and, and just out of spite, I just because they're libertarians. Lot. Should we be oh, throwing dude. a lot around? I think it's like 20%. Uh, last I had heard, 20%. But of wasn't it much higher previous to that? Wasn't No, you know why? It's a, like it, it, it is a little bit higher. And the reason why is because it's not just extremists. There are people that are going to get the vaccine and still find the passport really invasive. So it's really, there's a I lot of those. And, and, well, look, you know, I, to, there are the folks who are anti-vaxxers, but there are also, this, I've heard the Civil Liberties Association raise concerns about vaccine passports too. So so there are people Canada, who are- Civil Liberties in Canada? In Canada, exactly. Can we so, send them a note and tell them to shut the fuck up? You are welcome. Yeah, you know, it's a free country. But <laughs> I'm I, happy to. I think they would, it's, you know- they, Until they we believe get the in, passports. Yeah. If they don't believe in free speech, nobody does. But, I, you know, I, I would say the other thing, just to keep in mind on this conversation is- the 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 focus on herd immunity is also the idea is it's going to drive cases incredibly low and i while yes it is well, we'll we'll see how what the immunity is like in terms of the extended period of time and what boosters will need so i i think we are early on in this conversation around what you know a, a vaccine kind of passport it, it is going to look like I